In this video, I'm going to show you how to manually test a DSC configuration with PowerShell. For this demo, I have entered a remote session to a server called Server1 where I've previously pushed a simple DSC configuration. If I want to test that configuration to see if the server is still in the desired state, I can run Test DSC Configuration. After that finishes running, it will return either true if the server is in the desired state or false if it is not. In this case, it returned true. Test DSC configuration has a couple parameters we can use to get some more information. If I use the verbose parameter, it will output the tests for each resource in the DSC configuration. Here I have two resources being tested. First, we have a Windows feature resource that checks to see if the web server feature is installed. And second, there is a file resource which ensures that a hello world file is present. Since both of those are in the desired state, I get a value of true. To get even more detail, we can use the detailed parameter. This will show us not only whether the server is in the desired state, but also which resources are in the desired state and which resources are not in the desired state. If I select and expand resources in desired state, we can see the information for both of our resources that have been applied. Now let me go ahead and delete my hello world file. If we run test DSC configuration again, we can see that it is now returning false. Using the verbose parameter, we can see that the system cannot find the file specified, so the test fails. Now let's use the detailed parameter. You can see that the resources not in desired state is now populated. If we expand that property, we can see exactly which resource or resources have failed. And that is how to manually test a DSC configuration with PowerShell.